Let's keep with quality and get to the greatest broadcaster of our generation. Um, you know how, like, Tucker, that's like the old method. Like, yeah, it was really racist. Tim lies because he said that white people are not taught to be afraid of cops. That was really racist. You might as well just kill. Why don't you just, well, why don't you just kill all the white people? Alex Jones being a genius and being a boss and being the best broadcaster of his generation. He knows how to deal from a right wing and not just right wing, just an obscurist, just beautiful obscurist. This is how you deal with the Roseanne situation and how you totally miss the point and totally divert attention, but in a way that's just actually really funny and self-promoting and brilliantly self-promoting. Chimpanzees, chip, apes, <laughs> orangutans. <laughs> and you can see the comparisons. They teach that in sociology, psychology, anthropology. It's well known. So if you compare <laughs> some black lady to looking simian, well, there's a reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Because we are. I just need to say, I guess, for people listening, the first image is a comparison shot of Trump split with an ape. Is that an ape? I think that would be a chimpanzee. A chimpanzee. So chump and a chimp. So he's doing a bunch of photos of white people that look chimp and ape-like, which is actually really funny visually in and of itself. All right, go ahead. To looking simian, well, there's a reason, because we are primates. That's why there's so many comparisons to humans and monkeys and to apes, because <laughs> George Bush. some people look more like it than others. There are some white people that look more like apes than other white people. There are some black people that look more ape-like than other black people. I look ape-like with my shirt off, you know, in my birthday suit. I look like a gorilla. I, I, I mean, I don't have to work out. I got big chest, big arms, big legs. I'm bow-legged. My feet are flat. My dad is somewhat simian looking too. It's just the way it is. And I'm like, proud of it. But and I'm proud of it. I mean, this whole thing is just absolutely is ridiculous. I'm hairy like an ape. Look too. at this. Man. By the way, I'm proud of it. I fucking love Women it. don't seem to mind, they seem to like it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I would say <laughs> that I look more simian than most black people. But this mental illness of political I'm correctness. Most. To say that we don't all, at one way or another, look simian is just a complete joke. I mean, it's like species of horses. Does a mule look a lot like a horse, even though it's not a horse? Does a donkey look a lot like a horse? It's a different species, but it's in the same family. Giraffes. <laughs> you know what's so messed up about that? It's like <laughs> every, you know, like there's a lot of things to defend those individual claims if it wasn't so intentionally like if you just like we're like we're gonna strip strip all of american history what everybody knows a racist joke like that means and every single person knows where that's coming from if you junk all of that it's like yeah actually all humans like yeah that's true those are our closest relatives uh fair enough <laughs> and he just turns I guess we know else. my dad still looks at me. It's almost like confessional too when he talks about his dad being so he's like, you know what? My old man. And I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of it. And like his dad being like, Hey, asshole, could you not bring me into your defense of that racist woman on Twitter? We really <laughs> you think it'll maybe leave the family out of it. This is a good way to register the <laughs> the sort of lack of power of the creationist uh Crazy force audience. Now. No, that is a very, very evolution friendly argument right there. There is no, there's no like, why aren't we, why aren't we, why aren't mon monkeys having humans today? <laughs> None of that in that one.